You are welcome to another video of CLI based network automation using Python Nornier based on Cisco devices. In this section, we will start with the first Nornier plugin, Nornier NetMico plugin to send monitoring command to the router to monitor or troubleshoot something. Most of the Nornier plugins have different tasks to send monitoring or configuration commands. In the next section, we will use Nornier NetMico plugin to send configuration command. NetMico plugin is important because it supports the largest number of devices. If the device we are using on the network is not supported in the Scraply plugin, the most plugin option is the NetMico option. We support about 10 devices fully and supports about 100 devices partially, which we have discussed about in the previous section before giving no near netmico send command configuration example it might be useful to review the existing task in the no near netmico task and their parameters through the no near the tech no near project yeah and then the plugin we can find the source of every plugin and also netmico no near netmico plugin the source of Nornier NetMico is, is inside the task subfolder. As you can see, these are the tasks that are supported by Nornier NetMico plugin. Send command and send config are the tasks that you can see in every plugin in the Nornier to send monitoring command and send configuration command. In addition to these tasks, there are also some other tasks. The other important tasks are NetMico save config to save the configuration without receiving interactive parameters. NetMico file transfer to file transfer between any two file system or locations. And NetMico commit to commit the configuration changes in iOS XR or any device with commit capability. In this section, we discuss NetMico send command, and in the next section, we'll discuss NetMico send config command. If we check inside NetMico send command task, as you can see, the name of the task, which is NetMico send command, and command a string, the command itself which should be sent to the device are the necessary parameters we must specify when using this task. Other parameters have default value, so I don't need to specify these parameters when I'm using this task on Nornia NetMico plugin. Now we can start running Python script that I've already prepared to send command to the device. Inventory and configuration files are copied from the previous section. We have discussed the details of inventory and configuration files in the previous section. In this section, let's have a review before running the script with cat host yaml. We start with the host yaml file. Only one device named R1 is configured inside this inventory file. The device IP address, username, and password must be configured in order to connect to the device. Username and password are commented because they are also configured in the default YAML inventory file. Device is also configured as a member of Cisco group. Inside group YAML inventory file, iOS platform is configured for the device inside Cisco group and inside default yaml inventory file username password and platform is configured again as a default parameters any deviating parameters can be configured in groups yaml inventory or host yaml inventory files and finally the configuration file that config which introduce inventory files here in these three lines 
and enable multi trading in which we have discussed in the previous section to run this script you have to make sure that the required plugin are already installed in your controller this is the note installed no near netmico that i prepared not to forget to install the required plugin let's check it after updating application repository make sure that the python 3 python 3 pip and python 3 virtual environment are installed in your controller python 3 virtual environment is important when you want to run the script in an isolated virtual environment which is also recommended isolated virtual environment help you not to make any changes to your main operating system configuration files the other benefit is that sometimes you need to run a script with a configuration that is incompatible with another script therefore it can run in an isolated virtual environment not to impact the other script i've already installed all of these required applications as you can see it's already installed then we install the required plugins in python 3 via pip nornier nornier netmico and nornier utils nornier and nornier netmico must of course be installed to send command we are no near netmico plugin no near utils plugin is used for many basic tasks what we use in this script and most of the scripts throughout the course is to print the result of running no near scripts through the running print result task this is the script that i've already prepared to send a single monitoring command through the no near netmico plugin the same script structure will be used during the course and in all plugins and tasks. In the first three lines, only the required tasks of the installed plugin are imported. The task in it, Nornier, is to initialize Nornier. Always we use this task in Nornier plugins. The task Nornier Netmico send command to send the command through the netmico plugin and the task print result from nornier utils plugin to print the result of running command then we initialize nornier with a config file that we have already prepared then we configure a function with two required parameters the name of the task as we have seen already always netmico send command to send monitoring command through no near netmico plugin and the command that must be run in the final device or devices here i'm using show ip interface brief exclude on assign as an example i run this command to show layer three interfaces with assigned ip addresses any interfaces with unassigned ip addresses are excluded from the output of this command then we run the function through initialize nornier and r is initialized nornier and then we run the function through the initialize nornier in the last line we print the result of running command with using print result function from no near utils plugin now we can run the script with many commands to see the result of each command sent for example the same command python tree As you can see, this is the result of show IP interface brief, but only the interfaces that are already assigned by an IP address. I can run another command. For example, show version. 
and include the lines matching with XE and then we run again and this is the output of show version command but only shows the line with XE as a matching parameter another script that I am going to run in this section is to one to send more than one command to the final device or devices this script is exactly the same the only difference is that we put the commands inside a list list of commands and then we can run the commands one by one inside a loop in some plugins we have the capability to use send multiple commands without using any loop and it's the embedded feature of the plugin or task itself and then we can run the command to see the output of the command python 3 to 1 two commands show ip interface brief and show version must be run this is the show ip interface brief and this is the output of show version command and finally you can download nonlinear net micro send command configuration example from my github github asset pool devnet and then python nonlinear 2023 and the second part nonlinear net micro configuration examples two and two ones are the script that we have already run in this section